Morning, you guys. I am up and awake. I am in a little bit of a mood today. I struggle a lot with like comparison syndrome. Is that a thing? I don't know. But like, I get really bummed when I compare myself to other people. It just always seems like no matter how good you think you're doing, the second you see someone doing better than you in any respect for any reason, even if you're not even doing the same thing, but like they're doing better at what they're doing than you're doing at what you're doing, if that even makes any sense, you just get a little bummed that you're just like, why can't I be as good as them? What are they doing that I'm not doing? And that's in everything. That's in weight loss. That's in business. That's in relationships. Like I done made the mistake of hopping on the internet and feeling down on myself this morning. But you know what? Do you know that there is one thing that I know that nobody can do better than me? And that is the zip fish shake. Okay. That's my advice. A, like stop comparing yourself to others like you know what they say comparison is the thief of joy and that is so true where's my joy in i don't know but that's easier said than done so if you can't stop comparing yourself then all you got to do is be petty and focus on the thing that you know you're the best at <laughs> and for me i know that i am the absolute best at the zip fish shake and today we are having bam Oh, is this blueberry raspberry? Absolutely. I'm in, a, I'm in a better mood already. I'm not even messing with you. Like, I haven't had blueberry raspberry in a very long time. <sighs> I'm hoping I can shake this funk off because I am dancing today. And you can't be in a mood. Probably dancing will help too. You can't be in a mood when you dance. But like, I'm feeling down this morning. But I'm not letting it affect the rest of my day. I am actively fighting against it. That's another thing, you guys. Recognize the feeling, but don't sit in it. Don't just be like, well... I guess I'm down. I guess my day's ruined. No, no, no. Fight that funk. You know what I'm saying? Like, turn that frown upside down. You have the power to make your day whatever you want it to be. And today's gonna be a great day. I truly believe that. But that starts with the zip fish shake. Okay, guys, have you seen that allegedly there's like a new flavor at Costco called Pina Colada? And I'm just wigging out. Richard and I are going to Costco today, so hopefully we spot it in the wild. I will be sure to let you know. Blueberry raspberry is one of my favorite smelling zip fish shakes. All right, guys, let's get ready to shake it, okay? Shake off any of that anger or that doubt or that fear or that bitterness. Just shake it all off, okay? Because you are exactly what you need to be right now, okay? I'm talking to myself, okay? <laughs> let's get ready to shake in three, two, one. Mmm, mmm, shake it away. Mmm, mmm. The changing your mind and changing your life. Ooh, mmm. You know what? Maybe I was just thirsty this whole time. <laughs> Maybe I was depressed because I was thirsty. I instantly feel better. <laughs> Okay, I was on a roll there for a second, but then I just, you know, at 20 minutes, I was like, you know what? I'm just not into this, so I am calling it a workout day. I'm bummed that the dancing couldn't put me in a better mood, but I'm glad that I at least did 20 minutes of it and the day's not over. Maybe I'll go for a walk or do something to get active today, but like, I'm just kind of ready to take a shower and get the day started. So like, still in the funk, I'll keep you updated. Milton. Sit. Oh, whoa, that was quick. That was the quickest you've ever sat in your whole life. You must be really hungry. Hey, you my good boy. Milton, sit. Oh, we did it again. Second time's the charm, bubby. DJ, sit. DJ. Yeah, that's, that's a joke. This is so cute. Look at them all just look at you. They never look at me this intently. What is happening? And he sat again. Oh, I gotta turn the camera off. Something is happening right now. We are in the Bermuda Triangle. Look at Milton being a good boy just sitting. That's because he ran out of options. He was like, I don't know what else to do, so I'm just gonna sit. Mm-hmm, yeah, I understand, yeah. I mean, you're right, that's what I'm saying. I just need to, I just need help focusing, you know, on the positive. I know that it's there, it's just, I just can't focus on it right now. I feel like I'm undoing all my positivity with just like one day of negativity, but just like, you know, one day of bad eating won't, you know, ruin your 
oh, weight loss, just one day of, of negativity won't undo all the positivity that you've, you know. That I read. Okay, B bye mom. <sighs> you know, it just kind of turned into one of those things that I have to cry out. Like, I'm a crier, if you didn't know, okay? And whenever I feel like a pent-up emotion, really the best way for me to let it out is just to cry. So, of course, I call up my mama, like, and I just vent, you know, about my frustration and my feelings of inadequacy <laughs> and just knowing that like I know that that's not real I know that that's not my real life like my real life is positivity and gratitude and prosperity and abundance like that's my real life but sometimes I just need to like get rid of all the negative stuff that comes up and so I'm really grateful that I have my mom to to call and to talk to and that cry out was exactly what I needed and my mind is still a little wishy-washy but like I definitely feel better with just being able to say the worst of the worst you know say that I feel like a failure and I feel like nothing matters and I feel like why am I trying so hard like it feels good to say that stuff out loud because it's scary to like be thinking that but <sighs> saying it just puts it out in the universe so that it's out of my mind it's out of my body so that I can like refill that space with positivity so <sighs> I'm glad that I got to talk that out I honestly feel so much better so now I'm gonna get ready for the live and just you know clean myself up once again Autumn Jones thank you so much nice to meet you you know like that Weathers, autumn weathers. I was gonna say. Yeah. That, Ooh, was, yeah. that was tough. Uh, it's okay. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> I can be Richard Jones. I'm Richard Jones. I'm sorry. We're about to get off here because today is meal prep day uh -oh. and we got to go to the store. We're going to both Costco and Meyer today uh -oh. and I'm hoping to pick up those pina colada zip fizzes at Costco. Don't think I forgot. Y'all been tagging me left and right on the interweb with this pina colada zip fizz. So I really hope we find it. I don't know. Our Costco will be like shading sometimes not having like that new new. Look at that old pretty cell. Pump and gas. See, look at those shoulders. Ooh. The definition's coming, I'm telling you. She is so gorgeous. It's the love of my life, y'all. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? I am doing nothing. You are not supposed to be filming. Do you know what I just realized? Oh my god. Do you know what I just realized? I'm pretty you are? No. Kids today will truly never realize like the freaking precision that we tried to get to. Remember pumping gas and mm -hmm. you always tried to get up to like the next 50 cent or mm -hmm. the next dollar or whatever? Mm -hmm. Like because you had to pay with cash. Exactly. And it's just like kids today just like boop, it auto stopped. Time to, you know, <laughs> pay on the card. <laughs> Okay guys, meal prep is done and by meal prep I basically just mean making hamburgers because there is nothing else to cook and hey, 
that is a meal prep after my heart you know what I'm saying so the burgers are done my mom called well she actually sent a picture hello she sent a picture of the halo top keto ice cream that she found at Walmart I specifically looked for it at Meyer today and it was not there they only had regular halo top so she said it was at Walmart right up the street so that is where me and Richard are heading the pina colada zip fizz was not at our Costco to be honest I really didn't have uh, high hopes I will be the first to let you know if we are victorious in our pursuit you're so cute in your little rain slicker. Look at you. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. So this is what? Jelly donut? Ugh. White chocolatey macadamia. And then the last one is berry swirl. I don't know how I feel about fruit stuff, but it's, if I don't like this, I'm going to give it to Richard. So that's okay. Okay, guys. We are back from Walmart. Meal prep is done. So I can't wait to show you. All right, guys. We have a very component heavy or like ingredient heavy meal prep i mean this was a tight squeeze look at all this junk on the table but it actually just comes down to like a coffee a meal and a couple of snacks starting off the day i'm going back to my cello wisps and i have some whole foods almonds that snack mix i just kind of had to stay away from so i'll be glad to get back to just my cheese crisps and almonds then i'm moving on to my bulletproof coffee i got coffee i got that collagen heavy cream almond milk I got sweetener, I got sweetener. Moving on, the PS de Resistance is this beautiful third pound burger. Oh my God, this grass fed Costco frozen burger. And these Sola buns. Now these I'm really excited about. Never heard of them, never tried them. They were mentioned in the Facebook group a couple of weeks ago and then I just randomly saw them at Meijer and I was like, well, gotta do that. So I am gonna recreate my Five Guys order. And so that is a delicious, bacon cheeseburger so i have some costco fully cooked bacon i was gonna get the regular uncured bacon and actually cook it but they didn't have it and i was like well if i gotta get regular bacon it might as well already be done you know what i'm saying so i have a bacon cheeseburger full transparency i literally forgot that i got this jalapeno and onion and i'm not cutting them up today so that's gonna be saved for my what i eat wednesday my side quote unquote fries are just gonna be pork rinds covered in probably mustard or something. I am also gonna put a good amount of lettuce on the burger and then whatever lettuce is left over, I'm just gonna make a little salad. And then for my dessert, I'm having cheese sticks and still working my way through these keto bars, so I'm excited about that. And then finally, I'm gonna have either a ginger ale or a Sprite Zero and a Jello. So I am very excited about this meal. Hopefully these aren't horrible, but I've heard really good things about them. To be honest, they're not the cleanest ingredients. The first ingredient is water and then vital wheat gluten. Like I really don't know what that is. Soybean oil, resistant tapioca starch. Yeah, I mean like this is just a hodgepodge of chemicals. Not usually my thing. I would be just as fine having this as a burger in a bowl, but I just wanted to try something different. And this still brings me in at about 20 net carbs. So I'm totally okay with this. This is not something that I would normally eat all the time, but I am definitely good with trying it out for a week's worth of meal prep. Have you ever had the Sola buns, the Sola products? Let me know how you like them in the comments down below. All right, guys, that is it for the day. I am out of my funk. I am feeling great. Back to my positive self. You know, it's okay to feel like that sometimes. You just have to acknowledge it and work your way through it. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make meal preps on Mondays. I make what I eat Wednesdays and freestyle Fridays. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.